Hello, everybody. My name is Serena Michaelis, and I would like to thank Graham Chim for allowing me to post my ideas on his channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Martin Luther. No, 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 not this Martin Luther. We're going to be talking about this Martin Luther. However, this Martin Luther is also very important, and I wish progressives and the alt rights would listen to his I have a dream speech. You know, people should not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. But who am I kidding? Progressives always ignore that. When it comes to Martin Luther, he is an interesting figure in Christendom. Recently, I watched a movie called Luther, hence this video. Martin Luther vigorously objected to the corrupt practice of selling indulgences. When it comes to indulgence, for those of you who are like me and didn't scrub Catholic, like this like past two weeks was the very first time that I have ever heard of um, indulgences, but it gets explained in the movie for the non-Catholics. It's basically, you know, religious salesmanship. Like, this is the parts of the movie where the, this guy who um, plays John Texel says, I have a gift for you, a gift to save you from hell, sold for one night only. You can buy your salvation. In heaven, there's a treasure chest full of merits. I'm giving it to you just for a few coins. Buy your deceased loved ones out of hell. Buy your passports into heaven. With this indulgence, I could absolve any sin. I could even save the soul of the man who violates the mother of God herself. And I did double check and this Jonathan Texel really was a very bad dude that really did cause a such a great scandal that he caused the reformation of the church. Now, the scandal doesn't begin and end there. It seems that the Catholic Church never ever wanted people to ever be able to read the Bible, you know, because it's like it's easier to tell if you're being conned out of money. Because the thing is, the Catholic Church would, you know, interpret scripture in a way to rob people out of money. So Martin Luther took objection to that because he could read the Bible and he could tell that the Catholics were, you know, um, lying about scripture to rob people out of money. So he wanted people to read the Bible for themselves. And the film was mostly accurate because Luther did translate the New Testament from Greek to German in order to make it more accessible to all people other than the Holy Roman Empire. And what inspired me to make this video is this movie, like the selling of indulgences, and particularly the part where you could buy your way out of hell, buy your relatives out of hell, reduce your time from hell, like if you just give the church more money, then you can spend like 50 years less in hell than you would have if you just give the church more money. Now, the Old Testament doesn't really mention hell, but the New Testament does. And the New Testament was written hundreds of years after Jesus Christ would have lived if he ever existed. So it makes me question if the existence of hell only existed just for people to buy their way out of it. Maybe hell only exists so you could pay your way to salvation. I don't know guys. Let me know what you think.